This is your Gunpla, whether it's an official Bandai model or in cheap knockoff kit. You've successfully achieved one of your goals by giving this kit an impressive metallic finish. Initially, you felt satisfied, but now you sense that something is missing. Have you considered adding a top coat to enhance this kit? Given that Bosni spray cans are the only available top coat options you can find, you've decided to use them. However, you might be wondering, does the Bosni 191 flat clear work well for this? Alternatively, could it be that the Bosni 190 clear or glossy top coat is what you've been anticipating to take your metallic kit to the next level? At this point, uncertainty looms as numerous possibilities lie ahead. It could potentially enhance your masterpiece or turn it into an absolute crap. The only way to find out for sure is to test both options. But we wouldn't want to experiment on our precious metallic kit which we've put so much effort into, right? Instead, let's use these cheap-ass plastic spoons to find the answers. They're affordable, and any consequences are minimal. Now behold, our first spoon specimen. We're going to apply the top coat to the Bosni B103 Chrome, known for its exceptional metallic brilliance, which represents the best Bosni has to offer for your cheap-ass metallic finish needs. This plastic spoon could easily be mistaken for a metal one, but how will it perform in our top coat experiment? And our next specimen is the number 183 Bosni KT Gold Effect 100% Gold. It's a gold effect that's been trying to outshine even the sun in the Bosni Metallic Gold Paint Library. Let's see how it handles our top coat test, and brace yourself for the golden surprise. And then we have the Bosni number 36 Silver. It might not be as flashy as the Bosni Chrome, but this paint's got a gritty metallic vibe that's just begging for a top coat test. Will it keep its silver lining, or unveil a whole new metallic personality? Now for our final specimen, let's introduce some color into the mix. Here we have the Bosni number 2603 metallic blue. Bosni offers several metallic colors like this one, which can be a lazy ass choice for achieving a metallic finish without much effort. But how will they perform when paired with our Bosni top coats? And now, armed with our metallic painted plastic spoon and our trusty Bosni top coats, it's time to get down to business. We're all set for some spooning and spraying our load, and of course, we'll also be doing some top coating. For our first top coat application, let's kick things off with the Bosni flat clear. And always remember, ensure you do this spraying in a well-ventilated area. And don't forget to shake it well, just like you're determined after a vigorous No Nut November challenge. So, let the top coating begin. Keep that spray moving continuously to cover the area you want to paint and move and don't forget to rotate the spoon as well, ensuring it gets an even coat from our Bosni sprayer and that's all there is to it. Now, onto our next top coat, the Bosni 190 Clear Gloss. Let's use the same method, and don't forget to give it a good shake shake action. Similar to the flat top coat, continue to sway that spray onto our metallic spoon. Keep an eye on your distance to prevent paint buildup while rotating the spoon for even coverage, and there you have it, you're a painting artist. Now, we've got our first set of specimens, and what we're going to examine are the results of the Bosni Chrome with its top coat. Let's begin by comparing these two, our metallic chrome coated spoon and a spoon that's been top coated with the Bosni 191 flat clear. I've got to say, the results are weird as crap. The spoon with the flat coat has undeniably morphed into a grainy, grayish appearance, completely obliterating its chromatic essence. It's bizarre how it ended up like this, but unless this is the look you're aiming for, I'd strongly advise against top coating your chrome with Bosni flat. It's bound to wreck your metallic finish and turn it into something entirely different. And just in case I didn't make it clear enough, it sucks so much ass. Now, let's take a look at our chrome spoon that received a top coat of Bosni clear gloss. Look at this crap, it's practically the same garbage as that flat-coated spoon. A freaking ghoulish, grainy gray mess with a shine that's about as useful as a screen door on a submarine. You'd think this could be good for something else, but let me tell you, it's the last thing you want if you're gunning for a slick metallic finish. It may be shiny and all, but the result is still crap as crap can be. So overall, aren't we thrilled that we've put these paints to the test on these cheap plastic spoons? Bosni Chrome when paired with any Bosni top coats, is a surefire recipe for disaster when it comes to preserving that pristine metallic finish. In the end, Bosni top coats and Bosni chrome are like mixing diarrhea with a blender, it's a real shitshow. 
Now, let's examine our spoon specimen coated with the Bosni 100% gold effect, and the result is turning out to be quite intriguing. Let's dive into the spoon that's been smothered with Bosni flat clear, and what we've got here is pretty damn obvious. At first, it might trick you into thinking it's not half bad, but take a closer look, and it's like finding out your favorite game has a game-breaking glitch. That once glorious gold shine has been obliterated, leaving behind a texture so nasty, it's like biting into a chocolate bar filled with bugs. It's not completely flat, but let me tell you, when it comes to that gold factor, it's taken a nose dive straight into the sewer. Now, let's examine the gold spoon that's been generously coated with Bosni clear gloss. Well, I gotta admit, it's not half bad. Sure, we've still got that grainy texture lurking beneath, but it's been given a shiny, reflective gloss. It's like encasing your gold bar in a clear, glossy sheen. Perhaps some may prefer this look, but personally, I still lean towards the original, non-top-coated gold effect. So overall, when it comes to Bosni gold effects and Bosni top coats, they don't turn out half bad compared to chrome. The results might be a matter of preference for some, but personally, I'm still partial to that non-top-coated metallic gold. And let's proceed into our top-coated Bosni silver spoon. We don't even need to waste too much time on this abomination. Just like the Bosni chrome, that beautiful metallic silver allure has vanished into thin air thanks to both of these cursed top coats. The one subjected to the Bosni flat clear has transformed into a grainy, flat, and downright hideous shade of grayish garbage. Meanwhile, the other one is pretty much the same, but it's like they slapped a super glossy coat on this turd sandwich. Do yourself a favor, whether it's silver, chrome, or any other similar Bosni metallic paint, steer clear of these Bosni top coats unless you're aiming to create a masterpiece of crap. Overall, let's just say they suck harder than a vacuum cleaner on steroids. Now, for our last batch of specimens, the top coated metallic blue spoons. And you know what? It seems like we're not entirely wasting our time here, because these results are actually promising. First up, the one that got the flat clear treatment. Yeah, it did strip away that metallic shine and reflective sheen, but in its place, we've got this satin-like texture with a subtle hint of reflectivity. Personally, even though it's strayed a bit from what we typically call metallic, I kinda dig this effect. It's like finding a hidden gem in a pile of rusty nails. And let's talk about the metallic spoon that got the clear gloss treatment. It didn't stray too far from our original metallic spoon, but damn, that super reflective glossiness has cranked itself up to 11. It's like an orgy of gloss that just won't quit, prolonging its climax like it's trying to set a new world record. Overall, top coating Bosni metallic blue, and I'd venture to say other metallic colors as well, is a love it or hate it situation. The outcome could be something you'll either appreciate or come to regret. In this case, I kinda liked it. So there you have it, folks. From the chrome catastrophe to the silver slip up, and the blue brilliance, these top coats have taken us on a roller coaster of metallic mayhem. In the end, it's like trying to beat a game with a busted controller. You might get somewhere, but it's a wild ride of frustration and surprises. Also, please keep in mind that all these experiments were conducted using Bosni brand spray paints. Who knows what the results might be if you decide to use different brands or types of paints, but one thing remains certain. Top coating metallic coated gunpla with Bosni top coats is definitely something you should approach with caution, unless you've tested it on some sacrificial pieces and are satisfied with the results. So that wraps it up folks. I hope you found this Bosni tutorial helpful, and if you have any suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. And remember, keep building, keep painting, one hyper mech at a time.